knitting through the back loop or making twisted rib stitches is what we're going to talk about today. Here you see I've been working on a leg warmer at the top. I've added a twisted rib stitch. Um, I find that the twisted rib or the the um, knit through the back loop knit stitch is more it raises itself up from the knitted fabric it is tighter it's more sturdy so it's less elastic in the stretching but it's still plenty elastic as you can see and um, it's just a little bit prettier I think it gives it a more finished look let's jump in to how to do it for a traditional knit stitch you would go in from the front of your stitch and wrap your yarn right but in this case we want it to twist we want that right leg to come over the top of the left of your stitch itself so we go in through the back so here's how the stitch is on my needle you go from the back side through the back side right this is traditional this is through the back loop wrap the yarn and then you have a twisted stitch you can see right there next we're going to purl this stitch normally you would purl like this right but for a twisted stitch you and for a purl stitch you would normally knit a purl like this go in from this side into the front leg and wrap correct well for a twisted stitch or purl through the back loop you go in from the back side do you see that so that stitch itself is getting a little bit twisted so that again the left leg is laying on top of the right leg this way they lay flat and they're next to each other as they normally would and if you go in from the back left side you're twisting it and so then you knit and you can see on the back that that stitch is pulled over and it's twisted. So again, we'll do knitting through the back loop means go in from the back side, right to left, and purling through the back is go in through the left back side and purl. Okay, right back for a through the back loop and left, left back for a purling. So that's basically Anything how else you'd like to see me do. Please leave a comment below. And if you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell icon so you know whenever we have a new knitting guide.